And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the last story. I'm your LP here for today, capital G. And we have some little rascals in front of us. I wonder if Alfalfa is there. Well, if we see a kid with a really large pointy hair, it's probably him. So yes, today we're going to continue our explorations of the city and... Well, we found the kids and what is this? Looks pretty cool, whatever it is. Let's grab that and... Why is she saying that these kids are troublemakers? Just because they can like sit on the rooftop somehow? Mad climbing skills. Hi there. You must have only just arrived on this island, huh? I mean, that was just too easy. <laughs> <laughs> Got you wallet, big guy. We don't want no mercenaries here. Never met a decent one. If you think you can catch us, the Orchid Gang, then go ahead and try. You'll never spot us if you keep staring down at the ground. Well, see ya. <laughs> Fucking kids. All their rascals are right, and they're gonna get a good old fashioned spanking. Well, okay, no. Like these days, can't touch your kids for any reason whatsoever. They can set fire to your house, you spank them, and CPA will come anyways. I've heard that story. I think exactly when that took place, it was a few years ago, was in the news, but. So long ago, I can't remember the precise details. I haven't got you, Wallet. But enough about real life here. So we found one kid. Doesn't have the wallet. Oh well. What was I going to talk about today? Yes, I want to talk a, a little bit more about the game itself, actually. Yeah, I, I don't know if you hear the rustling of papers or not. I'm just going over some notes that uh, notes about the game that I printed off off of uh, Wikipedia, the Wikipedia article. And that's how why the way is uh, whenever you find something on the on the ground, it randomly determines what it is before you pick it up. So the pickups are, what pickups are, are pretty random. And we also have a little announcement here saying that there's a sale on bananas. I'm um, not really interested in buying a banana at the moment, but it's good to know. Anyways, the game itself. Uh, has some RPG roots, in fact. It is, uh, the, the, uh, director of the game is Mr., uh, here we go, I'm trying, I'm going to try to pronounce a Japanese name. It's directed by Mr. Hironobu Sakaguchi. I think I nailed that, actually. And, if I recall correctly, he was involved... Yeah, he it is. He is involved in the, he was involved in the Final Fantasy series at some point. I'm going to double check which games he's worked on. Uh, since there's so many of them now. Oh. My dad loves to joke about the Final Fantasy series. Like, why are there so many Final Fantasy games if it's called Final? Um, there was a video I saw on YouTube uh, about the history of, J of, uh, of RPGs. And the, the reason the original Final Fantasy game was called that was because the person who made that game, uh, his name I don't have with me, unfortunately. It was meant to be his final video game project. And she's saying, oh, sorry about that. It's hard not to bump into people when you're running around in this game. But, uh, yeah. As I was saying, uh, the reason the final, original Final Fantasy game was called Final Fantasy was because the guy who created it, it was meant to be his final video game project. Um, what was meant to be and what played out afterwards, two different things. And hey, we can't climb that post. I want to climb that post to go on the roof. It would be so much easier to find the kids from there. Although the lady did just tell us that the kids are at the tavern, so... I have to try and maneuver my way back there through this maze. There's so many back alleys, different paths. So many conversations to eavesdrop on. Who are the guards looking for? Looking for some girl of some sort. Hey, 
Watch it, mister. Sorry. Nice new place here. Well, new place in the city. This place is very ex extensive. And did the guy just say he was selling almonds? Sure, why not? I'll pick up an almond just for the heck of it. I'm sure they're useful somehow. Maybe as a healing item, maybe as a stat booster, I don't know. We'll look it up soon. So, yes. Uh, if I find that video that I'm talking about that talks about the history of RPGs, um, I'm going to post a link to that in the description. Uh, it's a pretty fascinating watch, actually. Gives you not just perspective on the games themselves, but the ideas and attitudes behind them. Yep, moment to save there. And, well, yep. Moving on. For more can I say, there's not much more to say. It's, uh, it's got some Final Fantasy roots. In fact, uh, apparently, uh, some people have actually compared, like, the logo and whatnot to Final Fantasy. However, this is a very different game, the Final Fantasy. Not a chocobo. It's oh wow! You can run out just run into people. You can run into signs. You get smacked in the face by them. Ouch! You see, that's something you never see in Final Fantasy. Play Final Fantasy game. I mean, I don't know about some of the newer ones, like uh, like twelve, thirteen, whatnot, but. Uh, the last Final Fantasy game I played was 8. And 8 sure so didn't have that. You found me! Guess you're not as dumb as I thought. Can't believe you thought we were dumb. You know, you're pretty sharp for a worthless mercenary. You want your wallet back? <laughs> Fine, you can have it. And we'll give you this too, so hurry up and leave the island, okay? It's not as though this place has any future anyway. Those are not some. Those are particularly unoptimistic children. No future, and they're just a bunch of poor kids in the street. They're not, and they're saying that we're a worthless mercenary. Uh, nonetheless, let's have a quick little tour through our inventory. We have all sorts of dyes that we can use to change the color of our outfits. Again, that's something I won't be playing around with too much unless there's a scenario where I really need like a bright colored outfit in a dark place or something. So anyway, with that adventure taken care of, we got our money back. Um, in our last episode, Dagrin invited us to go see... Oh cool, look at that. Pretty. So is this one what you gotta say? <laughs> the fortune teller hooked her up. Nice. Well yes, in our last episode, uh, Dagman invited us to come see the night's parade. So let's go find him and join and join him and have a look at that. Sounds like fun. Looks like this merchant's got something to say, so... Artisans way to purchase local goods. They're a great investment. Investment? Merchants like me come to Lazulus Island to buy local products to sell elsewhere. Even without leaving the island, you can make a tidy profit if you play the market. Trade is what makes the world go round. It's the only way to make your fortune. Just watch out for market trends and sell your stock quick when prices are high. Well, that's something. I'll have to keep an eye on exactly how that mechanic works, but... More money means more and better equipment, so... If there is a stock, uh, a stock market uh, thing going on, 
Why not? And let's see, die shop? Okay, not gonna bother going into there because it's just dies then. And this looks like we're pretty close to where we need to be, so. Yeah, this is where we need to be. Hey, look! It's really him! General Astor! Wow! So that's the legendary general! He's never been defeated, pride of the Empire! There's some big names arriving! I tell you, this wedding is going to be one to tell the grandkids! The knights look so heroic and majestic. I'll be a knight too one day. No matter what it takes. I wonder what's on Dagwin's mind. He seemed to be a little distracted and or overly fascinated by what he had seen there. Looks Strange. Like almost sundown. I'm going back to the tavern. What about you? I think we've done enough exploring for now. Uh, we'll do a bit more later on, so let's get a good night's rest. And we'll see more of the city later, the I'm sure. The had arrived on a red letter day. A ceremony was being held to mark the engagement of Lady Callista, niece of Count Argonon, the island's ruler. Well, they call it a ceremony, but it's mostly just a big fireworks display. That's nobles for you, full of pomp and circumstance. Oh, Zayo, did you hear about fireworks? I heard there's a good spot to watch them, behind the church. Are you going? Me? Maybe, maybe not. I've got plans of my own. No? You pulled a bloke or something? Shut up, you! Ah! Ouch, that was a WWE style throw off. Who needs fireworks when you got a pint of the good stuff? I'll take both personally. Oh, my glass looks kind of empty. Barman! Fill me up! I'm really sorry, but we've run out of everything. I never thought you'd drink so much. Until we get some more in, we're totally dry. She's amazing, isn't she? Right then. Zayo? Ever wanted to be a delivery boy? <laughs> <laughs> sorry to put you on the spot, Zayo, but I'd be really grateful. I'm a bit tied up here at the moment. If I don't get another drink in me soon... I might cry. Don't do it, Sale. Don't do it. It's okay. I don't mind. Where do I need to go? Zale, you idiot. There's a shop that sells it near Castle Gate Plaza. Thanks, Zale. You're a lifesaver. Zale is the typical nice guy. He can't say no to help uh, to helping people. Good evening. I take it you've explored the city now. The cries of the joyous throng are like the rhythm of a percussion instrument. Does your own heart not beat at a frantic pace? I wonder if there's a name for that little piece. Oh, doesn't look like anybody else is chatty on the team tonight, so let's go get the booze. As I was saying, Zale's like the typical nice guy. He can't say no, even though he knows it's probably not a good idea. Of course, then again, he doesn't have anything better to do at the moment now, does he? Nope, we get a peek at the fireworks while we're at it. Awesome. So, let's go find the good stuff. After all, we don't want to keep our keep my wife waiting too long, now do we? Yep, boom, boom, boom. Whoa! Gesundheit! 
Wait. Girl sneezing. Don't see a girl. Hmm. What are you doing inside this thing? Don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. You there, mercenary. Oh. You haven't seen a girl around here, have you? Around the same age as yourself? No. You're quite sure? Yes. He's a terrible... He's not around here after all. Yeah. Honestly, if the boss finds out about this, we're gonna be in real trouble. Zale's a terrible liar. I can't believe they bought it. I really can't. But who is that under there? Are they... looking for you? Don't worry. They're gone now. You can come out. Whoa. She's pretty. Like, she's damn pretty. Thank goodness. I couldn't stand it in there, but it was hard to tell whether it was safe to leave. But why are you hiding? Mm, well, um... It's all right if you don't want to say. I won't pry. I'm Zale, by the way. My name's uh, Lisa, and thank you. You're an awfully nice person. Oh, nice to meet you, Lisa. Oh, no. I really can't afford to be caught. Can you help? All right. Follow me. Zale is the ultimate yes man. Honestly, don't those people ever give up? Don't give up. You still have friends. Oh yeah, the fireworks. Oh, I've loved them since I was a little girl. Pity there's no time to stop and watch. No, this is perfect. With all these people around, we might be able to lose them. Nice. Hurry up, Lisa! That's a pretty good plan, actually. Hey, welcome to the bazaar. We didn't see this before. New part of town. Yum, so that looks pretty good, actually. What a wonderful smell. It looks so tasty. <laughs> You're quite the charmer, little lady. You want one, then? Oh, really? <gasps> Thank you so much. So, um, how do you eat this? Huh? Huh? Um, what? Uh, um. Strange. Where's she going? I don't want to go too far. So lovely. I'll take this one. Hey, let's see some cash. Hmm? Cash? Do you mean money? Excuse me. Oh dear. Here, will this do? I'm very sorry. It's just, I didn't realize that I needed money. Don't tell me you've never been to a market before. I haven't. That's why I really wanted to come. Hey, sorry, sorry. Where's she come from? No markets, no monies? Doesn't know how to eat half the food that's on sale here? Very unusual. See what we can find out here then. I don't want to poke my nose into your business, but I'm guessing you've run away from home, right? Hmm? Yes. Are you angry? No, I'm actually quite enjoying this. I've never met anyone like you before. You're making fun of me now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> no. Of course. I honestly mean it. It's still making fun. Oh. What's this now? Some kind of trouble? Let's go and see. Huh? Lisa! Wait up! She's trying to avoid the carts, but she's gonna run to where the trouble is? Sounds like somebody's starting a fight over in Fountain... A fight? Sounds like somebody's starting a fight over in Fountain Plaza. Can you imagine? On a night like this? 
Those good-for-nothing soldiers are causing troubling. Okay. All right, what? then. Uh, it, it's, it's on the house. Uh, take it. <laughs> we'll be back. And you better have some decent grub next time. Stupid guards. People are trying to make an honest living. They think they can take everything for free just because they have a little status. Okay. What is she doing? You're supposed to be avoiding these people. Got a problem, girly? Don't you people have any money? I was under the impression that guards received a proper wage. You should pay for what you eat. Uh, what was that? Let's hear you say that again. I see you're looking for a proper telling off. Now listen, if you're buying something, you have to pay for it with money. The seller needs that money to keep his wares fully stocked. Where would we be without rules like these? It would be chaos. So, now that you understand, I suggest you pay up. That's right, you tell him, lass. You wow. have better mind your manners. <laughs> oh no, you don't. <laughs> Beautiful. You want some as well? Believe me, I won't hold back. Zale. I guess we shouldn't push our luck. Come on, Lisa, let's run for it. Not tutorial. Okay, so basically we have to avoid the guards, and if the guards catch us, we have to shake them off. Let's, uh, okay. Simple as that. Run oh, for it. We should focus on trying to get away from Whoa. these soldiers. I'm sorry about back there. These guys are lightning fast, too. Watching those people act like that, I just couldn't restrain myself. Keep it going. Oh, no, you don't. I should have done some more exploring. I'm. No, we're not. We're running away from you. Oh, oh no. You're Damn. You're coming with us. This is actually pretty oh, tricky. No. Oh, oh, Each time they grab us, it drains our it drains our HP a little bit. If you run out, that's it. You're coming with us. Yeah, shake them off again here oh, and keep going. Oh, no. Keep it going. We need to get away. But dead ends. Not good. Not good. Not good. Got him off. Oh, oh, no. oh no, you don't. It's oh no, you don't, sir. Get off of her. Oh, oh no. They can't go far. Keep looking. Oh, we're losing them. Where did they go? Yes, they victory. Keep looking. Keep away. Keep away. I think we lost them. Good. I'll take care of that. This Lisa was a curious young woman indeed. With each passing moment, Zale felt ever more enchanted by her charming smile and innocent heart. I can't believe it. Is this really your first time out here in the city? Yes. That's why I'm having so much fun. Well, as long as you're happy. Oh, how gentlemanly. What do you do for a living? Me. If I tell her I'm a mercenary, it'll just scare her off. Actually, don't tell me. I'll guess. Hmm. I know. You're a traveling merchant. You seem like someone who's been to all kinds of different places. And how many jobs allow you whole afternoons off? Well, well it's something cool. Like that. <laughs> I win, but I'm kind of jealous. I'd love to be able to leave the island and visit far-off places. It's not as great as you'd think. I've seen plenty of things I'd rather forget. Uh-oh. Really? Yeah. You don't know how lucky you are living on this island. I see. I suppose you might be right. Sorry. I guess I ruined the mood. At least he was being honest. Well, still more guards. Best not hang around out here much longer. We're staying at a tavern. Why don't you come there until this blows over? It's not too far from here. Who's we? Um, 
Just a group of people I travel with. Really? I'd love to meet them. Lead the way. Well, she's a social one. But so weird, and innocent doesn't even begin to cover it. She doesn't. She barely knows what money is. <laughs> Can't go that way. She barely knows what money is. Uh, she doesn't know social politics very well. Otherwise, she wouldn't like walk up to the guard and try to tell him off and cause trouble. So Zale, be careful. She's a. Tr she's gonna get you to all sorts of trouble. Yeah. There's a tavern. Looks like we're guard free, so. In we go. Into safety. Into safety of the tavern. I wonder if she's ever had a drink. That'll smarten her up, I think. Uh huh. What's this about then? Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. Wrong. It's okay. I get it. No need to explain. No one's judging you here. Zale, I have to say, well done, mate. <laughs> I guess this means he's taken after you now, Lowell. That's a pity. Yep, all my hard work's paid off. <laughs> it's not like that. Listen to me. Oh, they think that she's just a pickup. Sounds like quite an adventure. Anyway. Now that's settled, time for a nice bath. Care to join me, Lisa? Oh. You've been running around all day. You must be all hot and sweaty. Oh, well, yes. What? Seren? What? <laughs> Is there a problem? Oh. You want to get in with us, don't you? No. I, I mean, I'm not saying it wouldn't be nice, but... What's wait, the problem getting the bath was I, need... <laughs> I mean, no. That. <laughs> How old are these characters? <laughs> Lisa, are you all right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I've never been anywhere like this before. Everyone seems so full of life. Hey, lady, bring us some more drink. Oh my, am I getting popular? Uh, I think they're a little confused. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. If there's anybody that's confused, Ale, it's you. You should not have hesitated. Although Seren likes ladies just as much as the men, it seems. My love grows ever stronger for her. <laughs> no, so let's so let's see how Yurik's doing. If he wants to talk or not, he's not particularly social. Do you need something? Um, no. Not really. Then leave me alone. I'm not in the mood for idle chit chat. If you say so. He's not much of a team player, that guy, is he? Like, his magic is super useful and all, but. Anyways, we're getting up there on time here, so I'm gonna call it a day. Take a little nap and continue our adventures in our next episode. See you all later.